can see we've really upped the pace. We are now under this uh, tenting, this scaffolding, which is actually wrapping the whole of the ship. So we've kind of disappeared from public view. That's essential because we're starting uh, the really heavy work on the hull and the deck, um, addressing kind of historic corrosion, making sure that we have a stable base um, to paint on and refurbish the ship in the future. Um, so that's a really huge task, even on a vessel of only 580 tonnes, as it were. So there's that heavy work, but we've also got some teams of specialists on board, specialist conservators, but also a fabulous team of volunteers um, who are working on the ship's guns um, and doing a fantastic job putting them back in their working condition. The gun was in a pretty sad condition, really. What we had to do was to clear away all the debris and, uh, and see what we were looking at. Once we'd got the covers off, what we found was a, a lot of rusty bits shrouding the gun. It was suggested by myself and the team that what we actually do is take as much of the gun away as we could. And, um, and we found that to be easier than we first anticipated. We got all those bits across to our depot in uh, Gosport so that our guys over there could work on them in workshop conditions. And um, what we then started to do is work on the main body of the gun, which is uh, behind me now. Progress went really well, and uh, there was some good support from ML Limited, who were the main contractors for the refurbishment of the ship. Um, and it's uh, enabled us to get to this stage fairly quickly, um, quicker than we anticipated. We've enjoyed doing it. It's been, uh, it's been a real pleasure. And will it go bang, Wolf? I'd like to think so. <laughs> Unfortunately not. And I think if we tried it, the, the barrel would give in before the, uh, the breach and the shell and the explosion. But it's a nice thought. Um, but we don't want to uh, upset the Commodore's dockyard too much either. So. <laughs> We are a company specialising in industrial, maritime and engineering conservation. Our primary task is to carry out the conservation, consolidation and stabilisation of the historic fabric uh, that uh, you see within here and the M33. Unlike many historic vessels, um, M33 um, has lost a significant amount of interior um, equipment and systems. But what we do have uh, is the historic fabric, um, the, the original hull. Um, so it's that fabric that we are conserving, that historic fabric. Um, and this fabric has the, the cultural added value. And um, so it's this, this, this historic fabric and the conservation treatments we're using, which we will use to create a, a 3D cultural canvas uh, for the interpretation uh, to carry on and um, use the interior uh, to tell the story of the, of the Dardanelles. Here is a very good example of how we're trying to conserve and retain the original substrates. Uh, these are the original surfaces um, of the ship and we're using these as a um, interpretive backdrop, an interpretive wallpaper if you like, to allow the interpretation of the Dardanelles campaign to take place. This, um, historic, these historic substrates are incredibly important. They have great cultural added value on this ship because so much of the interior has, has been lost. Um, so this, the, the conservation of these uh, substrates are at the core of the project. Um, here is a good example where we can see the exposed frames and hull plating of the ship and moving up to the bulkheads either side. Um, we've painstakingly uh, cleaned and consolidated the paintwork, um, but below the, the, the level here you can see all the internal plating has been uh, carefully coated and cleaned with wax. This is really exciting because it exposes the mechanical structure. You can see the rivets and how the ship, and, and of great importance here is you can see how flat-bottomed the ship was. And of course this was very important to its prowess at fighting uh, and, and its fighting capability in shallow waters, hence um, why they were designed for the, the Gallipoli campaign. So this is very important and uh, we're, we're really excited to, to, to have this interpretive strategy and we hope the, the public understand and enjoy what we're trying to do.